Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Cosmos DB and interface with Logic Apps, Azure Logic Apps, so you're using no code to basically create an API which interfaces with your Cosmos DB. Okay, so we're going to basically create an API with our database and that can be a public endpoint. Okay, so if we go ahead, choose Cosmos DB first of all, so you can choose to create a Cosmos DB account and we will choose course SQL. You can use any subscription you have. I'm going to create a resource group called No Code Cosmos DB API. And then I will give it an account name. This has to be globally unique. So I will say Azure Code DB No Code Demo. Okay, location. I will just choose you. Well, I will choose. I'll choose West Europe and capacity well since we're doing logic apps we could just make this serverless we can just go ahead and go to the end i'm gonna put this as a demo i normally tag my stuff like this and i will create these resources okay well you may get this error over here that services are unavailable because of high demand so all you have to do is go ahead and create a new cosmos db account with a different region so we can say this is a new account demo for no code and hopefully this works now. Okay, it's created. I can click go to resource and now let's create a container. So, so instead of creating a container from here, you can also create a container from over here and you can choose a database ID and etc. But I would just choose this and then that will do it for me. One slight thing is there's a, an, a bug which I had about last week where if you open this and then you try to create a container from this user interface over here it won't let you sometimes because of some provision through forever. Yeah that's something you can avoid by just creating it from here. So they've created one called to-do list whatever that's fine we can keep it like that. You can also create your own one from here if you want a different one but this is basically our database right so right now there's nothing in here there's no data what we're going to be doing is we're going to use our logic app which will add data right so now i will search for logic apps so i can click add and then under my subscription and resource group i will choose my resource group i will give it a new name so i will say create record no code okay so region I'll just keep it wherever. So for example, UK South Salmon. Okay, so let's create this. Going back, actually, I'm going to choose consumption because I want to keep it serverless and then I will create. You can choose standard if you want. Consumption does have more connectors though. So if there is something which you may need and it's not in standard, you might want to switch to consumption. Okay, let's go to resource. And another thing with standard is you get the option to choose between what stateful and stateless. Okay, so in our logic apps designer, we could look for something over here, but let's just choose a blank logic app. And what we're going to do is because we're creating an API endpoint, we're going to basically get a post request for our trigger. So we can search for HTTP and choose this one. And in our JSON, we're going to basically create a payload for for a database. So let's say for example we have a name we'll come in with an ID as well. Can I put a second name? Let me put a comma there. Since it's a to-do list, go to the shops or something. Missing a comma there. And I think that's enough for now. I don't want to make my JSON too long. So that's my JSON payload. So the API will take an application JSON of this, which is good enough. And then it creates the body schema for us like that. And then our new step is basically just choose Cosmos from here. And we want to create a document. So we've basically got a document option here and we, we need to connect to our Cosmos DB. So if we go back to our Cosmos DB, we can scroll down and go to keys and we can take our primary key and we can put in this key over here. Account ID is just this. And then this can be anything, so access to DB. 
and then we can click create. Okay, great. So now it's connected, it's authenticated. We can now choose this option here, and then our database is the to-do list. The collection ID will be item, and the document will now be the body. So we can see if that works. Now the thing is, I have a ID already in my body, so it should hopefully work. So ID, so first name, second name, visit doctor. Okay, so that can, let's copy this so it's easier to do it again. So let's run this and see if it works. So we can check our overview and yeah, I think it's the body what we'll have to do is, okay, so the issue is this needs to actually be a string. So let's change that ID to be type string. And let's try run that like this ID in a string instead. So let's see. Okay. Cool. So yeah, that has now probably created in our Cosmos DB now. We click that. We can see that's our ID. And our first name, second name, item. It's got a timestamp and everything else. Okay, so great. You have your API endpoint. What you can do to actually consume this because I clicked the test option is if you go to your designer, what you can do is copy this link and say if you have Postman. Okay, so what we're going to do is create a request with that URL. And you can see we've got this all fine. And next what we have to do is choose raw and we'll choose application JSON or JSON for our body, sorry. And instead of ID one, let's choose, uh, uh, what's the name? Heli? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. And then one thing we need to do is make sure this is a post request string since I changed my body and I'll click send and let's go to our database now and refresh and we have our new entry. So that's like that. And yeah, so that's pretty much how you interface and create a document on Cosmos DB with no code. You can do other things as well. So for example, if you want to fetch a record, so we can remove this step get a record instead and you can do this by ID but currently you have to use the partition key and the actual ID and you have to put the partition key I believe in quotes and it's perhaps a, a bit of a strange thing with logic apps at the moment and Cosmos DB but what you could do instead is query the documents and you can write a query to get a specific item. So select all from c where c dot id equals one let's save that and let's try run that now we don't need a payload since we're just triggering it okay so yeah there i got the id or base of the id of one and yeah that's it i mean because it's a query you can customize your query however you want. If you want to get where the first name is equal to a specific name, you can. So let's run. And I think this is a really cool way to quickly create an API to be able to interface with Cosmos DB because instead you would have to do bindings and stuff in C sharp or use some other method but here you are, you just use your API and I mean you yes this is publicly exposed there are things where you can make Cosmos or logic apps on a private endpoint but instead of doing that what you can do is just put this behind an API management thing basically so on Azure you have API management services and you can just put this public endpoint behind your unique endpoint you have an api management service and you can add a unique url the same base url states the same because right now our base url is something like this so you can use your custom domain and you can put a bunch of filters and things on it so you can limit the number of polls and things so that you can rate limit, you can redirect and stuff as well. So you could put in third party APIs as well. So they are all accessible on your own API endpoint. Okay, so 
If you want me to do a video on API management service as well and tie in a bunch of different APIs, perhaps third-party APIs or just these Logic App APIs, let me know and I can do that. Okay, bye.